friends, welcome back to another story. My name is Miss B and I am the creator of this YouTube channel. If you haven't done so, please subscribe below so you can get more Books with Miss B stories every single week. Also visit my Instagram page at Books with Miss B. There you can follow along for more book love. Message me, let me know what you thought of today's story. Before we get started, I would like for you, my very special human sitting right there, to listen to this one very important thing. And that one important thing is that you, my very special friend, are absolutely perfect just the way you are. True story. So please don't try to be anybody else. Mm -mm. Don't do it. There's nobody in the entire universe like you. And that is a really big deal. True story. Just love who you are, got it? Miss B loves you too, like crazy, from the bottom of my heart. Today's story is being read with permission from the author and the publisher. Uh, Miss Suhani Parikh is the author and the publisher is Modern Marigold Press. Thank you very much for giving me permission to share this delicious story with all of you. So, before we get started, I want you, well, I wanna warn you, really, that you might get hungry because this book is all about food and not just your typical foods, but foods from all over the world. And fun fact about me is that I have a favorite type of food, being a vegetarian, and it is Indian food. Miss B had a friend, her name is Kavita. Hi Kavita, if you're watching this. And I um, went to college with her. And someday you're gonna go to college too, right? Right. And her parents lived near the campus where I went to school. And her parents would cook these amazing Indian meals for me. And I learned to love things like roti, um, dal makra, um, what else did I, oh, tikka masala, paneer tikka masala. All of these interesting foods that I'd never tried before were because of her and her family. And so this story really connects with Miss B because it talks about another type of food that I love, which are samosas. So let's get started. Also, send me a message and let me know what's your favorite food. I'm curious. I like to learn all about new books, but I also like to learn about new foods. This is called Sandwiches and Samosas. The author is Suhani Parikh. She is the one that has written the words and the illustrator, the one who's created these beautiful pictures and these gorgeous characters, is Reshma Srinava. Srinivas. Let's get started. Every morning, Neva and Nimi would come downstairs and their mom would ask them what they wanted to take for lunch. One morning she asked, would you like to take some idli for lunch today? Idli was Nima's, Nimi's favorite, but Neva reminded her that everyone else brought sandwiches. What might their friends think if they brought such a different lunch? You're right, Nimi agreed. We'll just take sandwiches. You know, you can take foods like this for lunch sometimes, their mom said, but Neva and Nimi just shook their heads. Well, you never know unless you try, she replied. Off to school they went with their lunch boxes in hand. All the kids in the lunchroom. When it was lunchtime, Neva and Nimi sat at the long table across from their friends, Lola and Zoe. Lola had a turkey sandwich. Mm. Zoe had a peanut butter and jelly. And Neva and Nimi had cheese and vegetable. Nimi sighed. Sandwiches were good, but she couldn't stop thinking about the delicious Italy waiting for her at home. The next day, their class had a field trip. They walked into the annual food festival and were greeted with vibrant colors and a medley of delicious smells. See all these different countries represented here? love to taste a little bit from each country. That would be so delicious. Right away, Neva noticed a table that looked very familiar. She quickly pointed it out to her sister. Both girls couldn't help but feel a little relieved when their friends started walking in the opposite direction. First, they arrived at a table with a beautiful blue flag where they were handed pastries with a green filling. Neva and Nimi heard whispering, what's that great stuff? Ugh, it smells really different. Ooh, I don't think I'd like it. Ooh. 
and looks yummy to me. You'll never know unless you try it, said the woman behind the table. Neva took a bite. This is delicious, but what is it? It's called Spanakopita, said a small voice. The friends turned around to see Zoe. My mom's Greek, Zoe explained. She makes amazing Spanakopita for special occasions. It's filled with spinach and cheese. As she took another bite, Neva thought about all the special dishes her mom made during Diwali every year and how she carefully packaged each one to share with family and friends. It seemed that they weren't the only ones with special dishes for special occasions. Do you have a special dish that you like? Maybe your family makes it? My mother and father would make um, something called pepperkaka, which was from my grandma's side, Swedish side. It's a type of gingerbread cookie. And that we would make that every year during the holidays. The next table had a bright red and yellow striped flag where a man was toasting bread. On it, he rubbed fresh garlic and tomato, added a sprinkle of salt and a drizzle of olive oil and placed it on a small plate. Neva and Nimi heard whispering. Why is he rubbing tomatoes on bread? Oh, it looks funny. I don't think I'd like it. You never know unless you try it, said the man. But Nimi didn't need convincing. She loved tomatoes. Yum, this is a perfect snack for me. Lola beamed. Well, in Spain, you'd fit right in. We visit my grandparents during summer vacation. In Spain, people eat snacks like this before a really late dinner. They, they're called tapas. Tapas, Nimi repeated the new word, feeling the pee pop from her lips. You say tapas, tapas. Mm -hmm. As the friends walked to the next table, Nimi thought about their trip to India last summer to visit their dada and daddy. She remembered having snacks and chai in the early evening. So here's the chai. And staying up late to eat dinner as a family. It seemed that they weren't the only ones who had different traditions. The friends continued to explore the festival, trying new foods and making new friends along the way. These look good too, don't they? I can miss be hungry. Finally, they made it all the way around to the very last table, the table that Neva and Nimi had been so nervous about. On the table were objects that could be found around their home and flavors that could be found on their dining table. Neva and Nimi heard whispering. What's inside? It's probably spicy. Oh, I don't think I'd like it. But what do we know? That's right. You'll never know unless you try it, said Zoe. They're delicious, said Lola with a mouthful. Mmm, especially with this tangy sauce. Other classmates began to taste theirs as well. Yum! What are they called? They're called samosas, Nimi said with a big smile. They're one of my family's favorite treats. They're filled with potatoes and peas. And the sauce is tamarind chutney, Neva added proudly. How cool is that? Neva and Nimi were happy to learn so much about Lola, Zoe, and the other new friends that day. They felt special that they could share something in return. It turned out that they weren't the only ones who ate different kinds of food at home. The next morning, Neva and Nimi came downstairs extra early for breakfast. They knew exactly what they wanted to take for lunch that day. The new friend had decided to start a new tradition. At the lunch table, the friends excitedly revealed the items they had brought for their very first potluck. They looked around the table and saw Lola's gazpacho, Neva's paratas, Zoe's jamista, and David's potato latkes. I love those too. Minsu's japchai, and Nimi smiled down at her plate of idlis. Mmm. Which would you try first? Or maybe 
you've tried some of these before. The next day, as they sat down, they heard a voice from behind them. Can I join too? Nimi moved down to make room. Aisha had brought her family's favorite crunchy snacks, Dabo Colo. Hmm, Neva couldn't get enough of them. It's like they have their own little tasting set up, right? The next day, Mateo brought his uncle's empanadas. Everyone agreed that they were kind of like Samoas, samosas, but with their own unique flavor. And when Brooke joined with her grandma's lefsa, sprinkled with cinnamon and sugar, everyone gobbled it up. Lefsa is Norwegian, and that's on my dad's side of the family. They make that. Sometimes Neva and Nimi heard whispering, that smells different. Ugh, what is that? I don't think I'd like it. Mm. And they would just smile and say, you never know unless you try it. And these are all the delicious foods listed in the story. I hope you enjoyed this yummy story, sandwiches and samosas. And I hope you know that at the lunch table at school, you should be able to eat whatever it is you want. And don't worry about what other people think. Got it? Because guess what? You never know until you try it. If you like this story, subscribe below so you can get more books with Miss B stories every single week. Until next time, I will see you all, and I love you like crazy from the bottom of my heart. Bye. Mwah. Hi, my books with Miss B friends. Uh, I have something very important I want you all to know. Please, always remember this. Fur. That it is always very, very important to love who you are. And don't try to be anybody else but who you are. Because in case you didn't know, I'm going to tell you. You are without a doubt in my mind.